Let's continue the B story about your schooling life. Sure. Ask After me questions, though. No. <laughs> I'm the fucking co-host. Go, do your job. Do your job. Um, so after after doing all that, blah blah blah, you went. Did you go to university for art or something like I that? I went to university for one year. I was gonna go into law, but I posted out at the last second and did an arts degree at Bachelor of Arts. Is that because arts. that was like, oh, this is more cruisy. I can f- fuck around. It's or? because like I was like any kid at eighteen, and I didn't know if it was if I was ready to commit myself to like a degree like that, you know. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh well, arts will be fun. Like I can pick a variety of things and discover myself and you know figure out like yeah. what and that's what really did fuck you up and also a, a big part of it was also <laughs> that like to get a law degree in new zealand you have to do a year of arts anyway and it didn't go very well <laughs> like university was very different to my school in the sense that like at my school i was very interested in everything that i pursued and at university it felt very much like it was just learn information for the test pass the test and that's the right. system you know like there were lecturers and it wasn't a very personal experience which my school very much was yeah that and makes sense. when did you start doing youtube like with amongst all this fucking noise was this like i did youtube as soon as i finished school in the summer holidays that's when okay. i started my channel yeah. i called it fits i made like cringy daisy videos uh and then when i was at uni i would like bulk record videos and then go to university in a different city and then drop them slowly over time so like mm. kind of did it like that and yeah. then when i dropped out of uni i I got a waiting yeah. job and what was it what was your big break on YouTube that separated you from doing the waiting job and saying like YouTube's full time now? It took me uh, about a year and a half of doing YouTube just on the side as like a hobby. It was halfway through my uh, waiting job. I posted a video of me shout casting this kid on a surf server who was really bad at surfing, and it was like a I was pretending to be an esports commentator yeah. and like he was getting really pissed off and someone's uh knocking their phone on sound. Whose line was it? Raise your hand. Come on. Raise your, come on. Oh, oh no. You're fine. You're fine? Kill him. You fucking idiot. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> my big break was, yeah, just to surf. I, I blew up off Reddit, to be honest with you. A big part of my growth was posting videos that I knew the CSGO subreddit would like <laughs> and then getting upvoted and then eventually one just got on YouTube recommended and it will kind of snowball You're posting from there. your own videos? Yeah. I was self-promoting a little bit. That's you know? cringe, bro. Well, so what was your breaking point? I was working, working as a waiter at the time uh-huh. at a quite a nice restaurant. I was enjoying myself, but like, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. That was after my video blew up and like I was gaining subscribers. I remember having a conversation with my mom at the time about like how this could actually be big, you know. So was, you feel like you recognize like this is an up and coming thing? I I just knew that it was an opportunity that I had to take. It was can, I, like, can I ask a weird question? Sure. What was your first YouTube paycheck that you can remember where you were like, okay? That didn't come till much later. I, I earned fuck all on YouTube. I, really, I went from earning pretty similar to my restaurant job for like a good... Yeah, but when was the first well, paycheck? What was it? What yeah, was the what, first one I don't you remember? S- I don't want to say. Was, fuck off. Shut up. I don't want to say. How much, Why? The, how much was the sh- first paycheck where you were like... Was $50. I remember yeah. catching oh, it $50. Well, like I was, you know... You no, know. how much was the first paycheck where you were like, okay, this can pay rent. Right. I was I making... I this. Like, I can't, be careful. I can't remember what it careful. was. I, I don't want to... I don't know. These normies would be like... A thousand dollars? Wow! Well, wow. Well, 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 put it this way: at the at the restaurant, I was making about four hundred bucks a week. Okay, yep. which isn't that much. And it was that's in, low. New that's Zealand low. dollars. New Zealand dollars, which that's is like low. what, like two hundred US or something like that. Yeah. Um, and on YouTube, I was maybe making like six hundred a week, New Zealand dollars. And I was like, hey, this is more than my restaurant job. Time to quit this bitch and like see what yeah. happens, you know. Mm-hmm. Like it was a restaurant job. I knew I could go back into hospitality if it fell apart. Yeah. Like it wasn't like I was leaving a law firm or something. So yeah, it wasn't like you're leaving a job that you progressed ten years. Yeah, exactly. Sucked like, off yeah. the boss's cock to it get was, a promotion. Yeah, that's not like the biggest risk. Yeah, yeah it was a relatively easy decision to make yeah. at the time, but the, you know it was still exciting. Obviously, yeah. I remember when I hit twenty k subs, which was off the back of that first video that blew up. I was I was driving home. Um, to my parents' house. I was on holiday at the time. I was in their car. Mm. And I was just slapping the steering wheel. I was so excited. I was like, this could actually be my job. Like, this could happen. Like, I was still doubting. But this could happen. Like, this yeah, could... Yeah, you were... some healthy doubt. Yeah, yeah. some healthy yeah. doubt. And But, you know, I was still optimistic about it. I was still like, who the fuck knows what's going to happen? Yeah. And that's kind of crazy to think back on, to be honest with you, because... I feel like a lot more people should go for that. Mm-hmm. It makes me wonder. Um, oh, no, you don't, you don't, don't encourage that because I wouldn't people, necessarily yeah, encourage it. Yeah. However, at the same time, it makes me wonder what YouTubers were on the brink of 
exploding it and then we're like oh let me be more safe let me not do that i got lucky for sure like a big part that, of it but was that not. is a that is a huge thing that most but, people who are successful say i saw a thing where that was like almost one of the most quoted things it's Were true they, though i yeah, think it's really true it is true to a degree but people never give themselves enough credit who are successful and are doing something at least um entrepreneurial or like yeah i don't mean i don't mean to sound like an asshole but it just doesn't come for any like everyone it's yeah. like it has to be something that you have naturally and you have to really work for it you really you, have it's to. also like a right place right time kind yeah. of thing you know like well my my my, I th- I my big like my big break was deciding that you're more lucky and you're just like it really it is all up yeah. To that. like i yeah but you have a lot of aspects about you and like your path that you've taken to get to where you are that you're sort of just discrediting like no oh it was all luck i don't like, dis- I was i'm not right saying it's right i'm not saying it's all luck but definitely a big like there are plenty of really talented funny people who go unnoticed for years they're just all, because they're not yeah, in the right place in the right time. Some of those people take that fucking plight. You're right. And eventually mm. do get there. You're but right. I think some, like if you fucking give them a hand up or you eventually know if they keep making something that is genuinely very good, mm. eventually I feel like they will break out. Eventually. But some, unfortunately some people just don't get the shot. And that's what I mean about like just being cautious about investing everything into it, you know? Especially, there's, a, like, there's maybe yeah, a balance. I, I just, but I'm just saying, like, remain humble if you're small. Like, don't think like I have the goods. Gonna happen, I'm yeah. gonna make it. I, I've been I, very I cautious. Feel, I feel like I'm more um, open to the idea of taking like the bigger risk because I was on fucking Centrelink. You know, what Centrelink is now yeah. It's like <laughs> it's a meme in Australia. It's like yeah, the, it's welfare. So it's like benefits. It's, welfare. it's welfare. welfare. It's the doll, right? Uh, yeah. So I was doing that to pay rent, and I was looking for jobs. And a lot of my early videos, which are all privatized now, were <laughs> vlogs of me going to the job center. Really? Where I was just like, this is the job center. Look at the computer. It's so shitty, blah, blah, blah. Like, there's, th- that was content that I was making while I was doing it. And it was only when I was making $50 a fucking month from YouTube that I was like, I will attempt to do this. I will try to go full time doing YouTube. Hmm. Like, and it, that was a huge fucking risk to do. But where I, I, I stopped doing fucking Centrelink and all that. Okay. To do it. Right. And I mean, that worked out for me. So that's why I feel like I encourage the risk more. Sure. Risk taking is important for success. Yeah. It's un- it's unquestionable. I uh, well, I think one of the most useful things uh, and skills you can have, especially as a young person, is just self-awareness and just like reflecting constantly on your behavior, how you're acting, how you're I, feeling. I, st- I still do that. Well, I think it's like if you're not doing it, I would be concerned yeah. too, because, <laughs> you know, at this point, you're, you're getting kind of old. You're kind of a boomer, to be honest with Chad. So if like, you say if boomer one more time, I'm going to go <laughs> blop a... <laughs> Your mustache looks like it's going grey, bro. A little bit, a little bit of salt and pepper there, Chad. A little bit of salt I and pepper. I hate this. I'm silver fox. Am I right? Look at silver fox, ladies. Everyone behind yeah. the camera just started hard yeah. grogging. You, How like, many? you like silver fo- silver foxes, there, ladies? What's happening? You like salt what and is pepper? This show? Yeah? This is going to <laughs> shit. <laughs> Anyway, so what was that point here, boys? The point is risk taking. Self awareness. Risk, risk, risk taking. Risk. Going to YouTube, it's soul crushing. No. We'll fucking handle wait, wait, it. Wait, wait, just, just before Stay we. Stay to your just, fucking just soul crushing just, account and jobs. Just, just, bef- just before we transition into the, the taking the risk, there were people that took risk. And this is one thing that I got mad at Keen for. He was like, he was like, if you 